Hey buddies, what's up? PC Mentor is here. In today's video, I will be going to simply show you that how we can optimize the game to emulator for the best performance and optimization. In this video, if you are using 4GB RAM or RGB, so we will be going to assign the resources to the game to emulator according to the available resources of our computer. Okay, so the first step you have to do: make sure open your task manager and uh, go to the details. Uh, and here, as you can see, you should have to find the app market and uh, click on the set priority so by default it has been set to normal you should have to change it to the high one okay so click on the change priority so this will increase the process priority of the game loop emulator and don't freeze it to the real time okay so your system will be crashed okay so make sure to set it to the high priority okay so once you have done that now close this and uh, now what you have to do just click on the game loop emulator shortcut and uh, here you should have to go to the properties like this one right click and uh, click on the properties here switch to the compatibility tab and uh, click on the run this program as administrator okay and uh, now click on the change dpi options and here you have to make sure to take this option and uh, click okay so what we have to do next uh, open the game loop and uh, here click on the settings okay so once you have moved to the settings uh, here are the general settings you can change it but we will be going to optimize the engine settings okay so what you have to do is just click on the engine settings uh, here as you can see uh, the screen rendering mode option is open gl plus uh, directx uh, auto so auto has been set for the graphics card so i'm gonna show my computer properties first of all and uh, here we go so now as you can see here i am using intel r uh, for i7 6th generation 2.5 gigahertz processor and uh, my current installed ram is 8 gb okay so what i will be doing i will be going to assign the resources to the game loop emulator uh, like this one okay so if you are using 4 gb ram now i will be going to show that uh, how you can do that okay so uh, i'm gonna uh, switch it to the auto okay and click on the Priorities discrete graphics card. Okay, so if you are using that, you should have to pick that. Now make sure to enable the vertical synchronization of your the virtualization. Okay, so now here the most important settings are the memory settings. So if you are using 4 GB uh, of your RAM, okay, so here you sh should have to assign 2 GB RAM to the game loop. Okay, so what you have to do, you can assign it from here. If you are using it, you can just make sure to assign uh, higher. RAM to the game loop emulator. The higher the RAM, the more it will be efficient and effectively it will be running. Okay, so now here you can assign the number of cores of the processor to the game loop emulator. So now to check that how many cores are in my computer right now. So what you have to do just to go to the task manager, click on the performance, and here as you can see the number of cores are four, and logical processors are four. Okay, two cores and uh, logical processors are four. So click uh, back to the game loop and here as you can see click on the two processors okay so what it will do it will assign two processors to the game loop emulator okay so the higher the processor it will run very smoothly and perfectly okay so I am going to switch it to the automatic okay now here the resolution setting so you can change it okay according to the display of your uh, laptop or screen or whatever okay so here i'm gonna switch it to the 1360 cross uh, 768 and this one you can also change the dpi settings uh, as you can see here so i'm gonna keep it 240 dpi dot per inch and uh, here are some playback devices settings uh, you can also change it okay so now the most important the game settings are uh, so by default it has been set to the HD1080 pixels uh, by the graphic card. If you are using 4GB RAM, make sure assign it to the HD720 pixel. Okay. So I have been set it to the HD graphic. Okay. Now the graphics quality or HD automatic smooth and balanced. Uh, now here you have to keep the graphics quality to the automatic. Okay. Now you can also change the FPS settings uh, and set it uh, to the 60. So you can do that. Uh, now save the settings uh, and restart the emulator okay so in this way you can optimize the game loop emulator for the best performance so uh, i hope you find this video helpful make sure to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for videos and post videos and notification on my channel okay so see you in the next video